I frequently want to point out or highlight something in one of my drone videos. It's easy to add floating text in DaVinci Resolve, but I couldn't find a way to add arrows or other shapes. For example, let's say I wanted to highlight this school bus as it drives along. There may be a better way to do it, but this is what I did. Here we have a 30 second video clip to which I've already imported into the media pool both an arrow and a circle. Now if we want to add one of them as a highlight to the video, we just grab it, drag it down, and put it on another video track. Now obviously this arrow is a little large, so what we're going to do is go over here, click on Inspector, and we're going to transform it. And the first thing we can do is zoom in. So these are little scrubby sliders. And there you can see we can make the arrow the size we want it. We can rotate the arrow by clicking on rotation. So we'll have it pointing up to the truck. And now we need to position it over so it's pointing to the truck. So I'm moving it to the right moving it down and there we have an arrow pointing to our truck. Now the problem with this is the arrow is not going to move as the truck moves. It's going to stay right where we put it. So let's look at how we might attack that problem. So we'll remove this. We'll click on it, hit delete. The arrow goes away. Um, Let's go put a circle around the school bus like we saw in the little preview clip. So here comes the school bus. Uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll take the circle. We'll drag it on here. Drop it in. You see the uh, circle is a little larger than we want. So we can once again uh, scale it down. But this time we have the playhead right here at the beginning so we're going to set a keyframe at that point and we're going to zoom it down now notice how when we zoomed the zoom was proportional these sizes are locked if we unlock them now we can make it an oval so there we go we're going to also add a keyframe for position so we need to move it over here. So we can drag it with the scrubby slider. And I always find that if I move too quickly, it jumps right off the screen like that. So usually I start out by putting in a guesstimate as to where I want it. I'll put 700. Did I put 800? Close. Oh, that's even closer. Good. So we'll move it to where we want it. I'll move it down just a hair. Okay, and that's all we do. Now notice we have two keyframes here. They both have these little red dots, and that defines that at this point on the timeline, the circle is there. Now it's going to stay there unless we add some more keyframes and change the position. So first let's see where we want it to end. We're going to keep moving over here. The bus is already off the timeline. So we'll come back a little bit, there, okay. Now the arrow stays on the screen as long as this image is appears on the timeline. So we need to stretch it out so it appears until this point. And there it is, it's going to be over there, but we don't see it because the timeline is just a hair past the end of it. So if we use our left arrow, click once, we're back in the area where the arrow circle is appearing. And same thing, we need to change the position. We're going to go to a negative number. We'll start with minus 700. And we'll raise it up. 
go up to 100. Whoops, I went to 400. Too much. I keep typing 400. Maybe it was closer. Anyway, there's the perfect. So now, if we preview it, we see that the circle moves right along with the bus. And disappears right there. Adding text to the video is even easier. We'll put our playhead back at the beginning of where the bus is highlighted. We'll add some text and we do this using the text effect in the effects library. So it's in the effects library we go down here under titles and we choose text. Not the one with the little uh, uh, lightning bolt but this one. And we take and we drag that onto another track. Whoops. We want it to appear right there. And as you see when we did that, it fills in the word title. Now we want to change that to school bus. We can change the text and the font and everything else. We'll pick some other font. And we need to change the size a little bit. We can either use the slider to change this. We have scrubby slider here. Or we can type in a number. I'll type in like 72 points. And that's good. Now sometimes I like to also add a background. And to do that, we just give the background some height. See, there you see it. And we once we have some height, we can change the width down so it's not covering the whole thing. And now we have a background. As you see here, the opacity of the background is 50%, and you could adjust that so it blocks out what's behind it or not, depending on what you like. And we're going to do the same thing. We're going to position this. So we need to go here to where it says video, click on that. We see we have the transform choices just like we did before. We don't need to change zoom, but we need to add a keyframe for position. And just like we did before, we move it over here. I'll start with 700. And uh, then we'll use the scrubby slider to the center of that. Drop it down a bit. And now we're good. Now we need to go over here. We need to extend the time the title stays on the screen. And we'll left click on the arrow once. Now it's back there. We can go back here to video, add a position time frame again. Notice it remembered the position from before. So we're going to change this now to a negative number. I failed on that. Minus 700. And uh, here we need a number like 50 or something. And we're getting close a little to the left and let's see how that looks now obviously if you render it it's not going to have that jerky motion but and notice how both the circle and the text went up as the drone shot came down <clears throat> 